Hello and welcome to Fund of Mechanical Engineering on YouTube. This is Deepak Sarma here and today I am going to differentiate between the BCRS and VARS. BCRS means Vapor Compression Refrigeration System and VARS Vapor Absorption Refrigeration System. Today I am basically going to tell you the main difference between the BCRS and VARS. So quite wasting time, let me start with BCRS. Alright, so BCRS means Vapor Compression Refrigeration System. Let me first go through the schematic diagram of the BCRS. Then I will tell you the TS diagram. Okay, so here is the schematic diagram. In BCRS, basically, the refrigerant gas which flowing through this circuit 1 to 2, 2 to 3, 3 to 4 and 4 to 1. The refrigerant gas which flowing through this circuit this is refrigerant refrigerant circuit the refrigerant gas flow which flowing through this circuit is mainly compressed by this compressor now this compressor is known as mechanical compressor mechanical compressor okay so when refrigerant at low pressure when refrigerant gas comes outside from the evaporator when refrigerant gas will come outside from the evaporator pressure then it will be at low temperature and low pressure right let me start from this point so when low temperature and low refrigerant enter into the mechanical compressor then it will compressed into high temperature due to compression temperature temperature will increase as well as pressure will also increase means high pressure high temperature and high pressure uh, refrigerant gas comes at this point 3 so I have started with the point 2 that uh, that at low temperature and low temperature and at low pressure low pressure refrigerant gas comes out from the evaporator and it enter into the suck into the compressor which is mechanical compressor in which we will have to provide mechanical work of compression that is WC mechanical work of compression okay so due to applying of mechanical work of compression the pressure and temperature of the of the refrigerant is increased so much that means at point 3 we will get high pressure and high, te high temperature refrigerant okay so this high pressure and high temperature refrigerant pressure is high temperature is also high this high pressure and high temperature refrigerant will enter into the condenser where in what happens in condenser actually in condenser there is a condensing coil okay so when this high pressure and high temperature refrigerant enters into condenser and then the temper and the heat contained into the refrigerant gas is rejected to atmosphere okay so suppose if uh, through this circuit refrigerant gas is flowing and if we blow atmospheric air or cool air so when this high temperature and high pressure refrigerant gas enter into the condensing coil then due to heat rejection its, temp its temperature start decreasing okay so here in condensing coil it is it start condensing that's mean here is high pressure and high temperature refrigerant gas refrigerant gas and if this gas is entered into the condenser then it, it start condensing that mean condensing means it a state transformation that is it is in gas form and at point 4 it is in liquid form that is here is high pressure and a low temperature high pressure and low temperature refrigerant liquid okay here is high temperature but sorry high pressure but low temp uh, temperature refrigerant comes out from the condenser due to condensation 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 in condensation what happened heat rejection is take place and that heat is rejected to the atmosphere okay so this high pressure and low temperature refrigerant is passing through this expansion valve this is called expansion valve where pressure changes take place okay pressure changes take place so when this high pressure and low temperature 
refrigerant passing through this expansion valve then here we will get low pressure and low temperature refrigerant so this low pressure and low temperature refrigerant when will pass through the eva evaporator evaporator we saw with what happen in evaporator in evaporator evaporation process is happen in what happens in evaporation process it is it takes heat from the atmosphere that mean this is space this space is our air conditioning space where we have to maintain the air conditioning so from this air conditioning space evaporator takes heat and takes heat and evaporation process occurs in refrigerant so here is the low pressure low temperature liquid refrigerant liquid refrigerant passing through evaporator then here at low temperature low pressure refrigerant gas will come out due to evaporation state changes again take place here is liquid to gas conversion and here is gas to liquid conversion this actually happens in this entire circuit of the vcrs which is called vapor compression refrigeration system this is vcrs vapor compression refrigeration system okay and let me make you understand what the vcrs in ts diagram in ts diagram t means temperature and s means entropy entropy actually ts diagram of this vcr cycle is constituted in constituted by four standard processes process is 1 to 2 1 to 2 is the <coughs> sorry 1 to 2 is the isobaric heat rejection heat extraction process that mean this occurs in evaporator this occurs in evaporator that is 1 to 2 it takes heat from the air conditioning space it takes heat from the air conditioning space okay and after 1 to 2 refrigerant gas is low temperature low pressure refrigerant gas is compressed into mechanical compressor that's mean we give work of compression and this process is called isentropic compression that's mean entropy change in this process is zero isobaric heat extraction means isobaric means pressure change in pressure is constant in this process this is isentropic that is change in isentropy in this process is zero okay so process 2 to 3 that's in basically 3 in here okay then process 3 to 4 process 3 to 4 this is process 2 to 3 this is process 2 to 3 and this is process process 3 to 4 is also an isobaric heat rejection that mean this occurs in condenser okay this occurs in condenser that is heat rejection process heat rejection process right and after 4 to 1 this is this happens in expansion valve that mean pressure changes is take place okay so this process is isen thalpic process so mainly vcrs is composed by four standard process that is process 1 to 2 that is isobaric heat extraction process which occurs in evaporator process 2 to 3 isentropic isentropic compression process which occurs in compressor mechanical compressor where change in entropy is zero process 3 to 4 is isobaric heat rejection process which occur in condenser okay heat rejected at constant pressure that is del p is zero here and process 3 to 4 is isenthalpic expansion process which occurs in expansion valve here which occurs in expansion valve so process 4 to 1 is expansion valve where change in enthalpy is zero so friend this was about the vcrs so in my next lecture i will discuss vars vapor absorption refrigeration system because if i will make one lecture the entire lecture will be very long and long time duration that's why i am continuing this i am going to continue this lecture in my next video so if you like this video then do, do not forget to subscribe my channel which is funda of mechanical engineering on youtube this is deepak sharma here thank you